Hello folks, and I hope you're all well. It's a really lovely morning this morning, though it's quite cold as there's been quite a heavy frost through the night for the time of year. I've been up since half three this morning to try and get my decoy set up and my hide built before the crows get up out of their bed. Now, I usually try and shoot this farm a few times through the year to try and reduce as many hooded crows and magpies as I can through the lambing season and decided to hit it this morning before the grass in this field got too long for me to be able to decoy in it. Ok, equipment check time. The hide I'm using is actually called The Bush from Bushware.com and the scope cam I'm using is the Tacticam 5.0 with the FTS unit. The scope I'm using is a Bushnell Tactical Elite 2.5 to 16 by 42 the rifle is an FAC 2.2 calibre FX Crown, which I've replaced the factory liner with a superior light liner and a Huma high flow transfer port, which is pushing the HN21 grain 218 slugs at about 900 feet per second. And, even though it's still not fully light, I got my first opportunity. It's a good thing I managed to drag myself out of bed at such a time. He managed to get a couple of feet, but he's done. Its mate wasn't terribly happy about the situation though. But it had seen enough to learn not to land on the ground, but instead land it in a nearby tree. But that isn't my permission over there, so I couldn't take a shot. Though with all the noise it was making, it started to attract more hooded crows. who unfortunately also took advantage of the trees. But patience paid off as curiosity finally got the better of one. Man, would you look at that for a picture? Sunrise and all in the distance. No time for gawking though, I need to get the shot off. Down without a flinch, I'm starting to like these slugs. Now, although the crows had cleared off, I could hear a magpie fairly close to me, but I never could see it, until finally it flew up out of the field on my far right and landed in my decoy spread. Thank you, Mr. Magpie. That was very handy of you. 
Now, I'd used these slugs once before, at a lower speed last year, but at 900 feet per second, they definitely do have a pop to them when they hit home. Plus, they definitely knock out more feathers than a standard pellet. Oh, that was almost disastrous. Anyway, there wasn't much happening outside, so I decided to go out and set a couple of the birds I just shot up as decoys to see if I could stir things up again. That and the hide needed a little time to air out, if you know what I mean. On the way back to the hide, I noticed a possible problem. Because I was looking into the sunrise, I noticed a bit of a glint on the camera lens, even though it does have a sunshade on it. But thankfully, it didn't seem to put this magpie off landing. Not as big of a pop this time, but it certainly dropped him in his tracks. The last time I was here, I seen two adult foxes, and was surprised I hadn't seen anything yet this morning, even though the songbirds in the hedgerow behind me was giving off constant alarm calls. Then I looked out the right hand window of the hide, and guess what I saw? Not one, but four cubs playing in the sunlight. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Why don't you shoot them? Well, one, they're not doing me any harm, nor the farmer. Otherwise, he'd be straight on the phone to me to do something about them. Plus, firearms and licensing here in Northern Ireland don't recognise FAC air rifles as suitable for fox control. So, I can't legally shoot them with an air rifle anyway. So, I'm going to be quite content to sit here and watch them playing about in the sunlight. And if they do cause any problems in the future, well, we'll deal with it in the future, with the appropriate firearm. Oh, they're so cute and cuddly. I just want to pick them up and cuddle them. It's a shame some of them can turn into such a menace at times. Well, it's 9 o'clock, the cubs are way back to their den, the sun's melted the frost off and I decided to call it a morning.
here. Okay, let's see how we're done. Used a different setup this morning. Used a little fake nest. Made of uh, raffia. Same stuff I weave into the hide netting to give that gilly, gilly suit look. A little chick, a couple of delf eggs. So they don't break while I'm trying to get set up. Uh, this is the first crow I got. Very quickly down. Showed up more or less in the back. Got a couple of feet and dropped dead. And I shot this one. Shot him through the shoulder. Maybe a yeah, yeah, shoulder broke. Through the heart, went down like a bag of spuds. Good clean kill. And then, even though the crows were sitting in some of them trees over there, they just seemed to lose total interest after that there. But I got a couple of magpies. I think this was the first in the shot. Took it in the chest as it was sitting up in my uh, wind marker which I, there's no wind at all this morning so I didn't need to take a practice shot and after a while I got this bird again another chest shot and went down good and clean as well using the H&M 21 grain uh, 218 slugs this morning and they seem to be doing quite well and I have fitted a superior light liner to the uh, the crown and a is it um, a high flow port oh, you will know what it is I, um, but uh, they were all provided through uh, Ergon 101, so thanks very much Giles. And they seem to be doing quite well because it's pushing them 21 grain H&Ns at about 900 feet per second. I'm afraid I've taken a wee bit of a brain fart there. Can't think what you call that. But anyway, uh, the foxes, they're a wee bonus. They're only about 20-25 yards away in the hedgerow. Nice to see them. I think it's the first time I've ever seen cubs in the wild. Never mind so close to me. <laughs> but we'll call it a morning, pack up and head next home. There's a crow watching me pack up in the distant hedgerow and it doesn't sound happy. But there's no point sitting waiting for it because they've already learned it's not good for their health landing in the ground near here. The two crows, well, I'll take them home and use them as decoys somewhere else. But the two magpies, well, I thought the fox cubs might enjoy them better. Well, I didn't get as many crows as I'd hoped, but I still think it was a successful test for the h and slugs, especially through the FX superior light liner and the Huma high flow transfer port and hopefully Obenwell will get another crack at the crows but until then take care folks <laughs>